So I appreciate you for tuning in to another Chris Caden show. If this is your first time watching me, maybe after the content I deliver, you become a loyal subscriber. And by becoming a loyal subscriber, it means you turn the notification bell for all my videos so you can like and participate in the comment section. You guys know why you clicked on this video though. Unfortunately, we're gonna be discussing Coyle Ray's album sales or lack thereof, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty bad, and if you guys don't know who Coyle Ray is, she's kind of been the butt of jokes when it comes to hip hop, whether it's been her shows, whether it's been her music, whether it's her being questioned as an industry plant because of Benzino. So to start the promotion for her album, Coyle Ray did a song with Nicki Minaj called Blick Blick. It debuted at number 37 on the Billboard Hot 100, but two weeks later, it was already off the Hot 100. So it showed that it came. Nicki Minaj fans listened to it because she was on it. It must have not had had staying power and it was off the Billboard Hot 100 in two weeks. That could have been a sign for what was coming with this album. Either way, there's been a lot of push from her label and a lot of hype that's coming to this album. So it's expected to sell and sell well. But the numbers presented themselves today and I'm gonna be real with you, bro. It's pretty disappointing. It's pretty, it's pretty alarming. It's to the point that we gotta have a discussion about Coyle Ray. So Trendsetters only sold 9K the first week. And if you don't know hip hop or album sales, that's a really big bust. Like 18 to 20K is like the minimum for being acceptable. It really depends on the artist and who you are. When you're a new up and coming artist, the first album or two, you want to get at least that 15 to 20 K that's, you know, showing it. If you're doing around 30 to 35 K, you're really showing the progress. And when you keep going up and up from there, that's when you have that diehard fan base. The people are going to ride with you, be with you, no matter what you do and what you support. And that's where everyone's trying to get as an artist. So for comparison, Fabio Foreign dropped his album last weekend. His sold 29 K. Now, is that a bust? Kind of. Some people thought he was going to sell 40 to 50k and the fact that yeet sold 35k his first week and he's not really promoted he's not really industry you know what i mean he's not being promoted he's not being pushed he's not being put in playlists like these other artists are so yeet did 35k fabio foreign did 29k coil ray did 9k so for comparison and when Coyle Ray had all of these features, had all these singles, you know the label's trying to make their money back. And the fact that she sold 9K the first week, does this potentially hurt Coyle Ray in the future? Do you think she's not gonna get as much push going forward? She's not gonna get the features that she had on this album because the sell 9K is, it's embarrassing. She really took an L. Unless the artist is just a really terrible person, even if their music isn't good for me, I hope they at least succeed a little bit, get the bag. You know, the music industry is not a nice place. You'll get eaten up a lot. And Coyle Ray, over the past 12 months, we've seen her videos where the shows, the fans weren't really reacting. It was no vibe. You've seen the videos of her avenues being empty. Just. She's been a butt of a lot of jokes, so it's only gonna get worse from here if, over the fact that she sold 9K. And do you guys think she might potentially get dropped? Like, how bad do you think this is gonna be? For me, I think she's gonna be given one last chance to redeem herself. If she doesn't do well the next time she drops an album or next time she drops this promo or this, I don't think the label's gonna be behind her and she could potentially be dropped. I just feel really bad for Coyle Ray because cause she has her uh, dad, Benzino, that potentially ruined her Nicki Minaj feature because he brought it up before it should have been talked about. She's always been made fun of. People made fun of her for how skinny she is. She has been bullied by this industry and now this is just gonna light the fire. For people that hated her because her music's terrible, some people hated her because they think she's an industry plant because of Benzino. Some people think she only got here because of Benzino. Whatever it is, if you are a critic of Coyle Ray, you have your ammunition now to use it with this 9K first week. This is gonna be a humbling experience for her. She's really gotta go back into the booth, go back into the lab, rethink her style, rethink what she's doing because clearly whatever she's doing or trying to transpire it's not translating to sales it's not translating to a fan base that's gonna stick with her no matter what the fact that she got Nicki Minaj on a song and that song wasn't even charting two weeks later is a bad sign because Nicki Minaj fans are you know 
we all know about Nicki Minaj fans. If they aren't vibing or supporting it, you're making music that comes and then it goes. And that's not gonna be the music that sells. It's not gonna be the music that's gonna have you the fan base that you want or need. And it's gonna lead to her potentially looking at other avenues or looking at a career. Hey, she does write her own rhyme, so maybe she could become a ghostwriter for female artists. This is gonna have Polaroid thinking, what's her next move? Is music it? If so, she has to come harder than ever. And if not, like I said, if she's cool enough, she has an internet personality enough, maybe she could just be an influencer or something. But whatever she's doing as of now, it's not working. So you guys let me know. Did you guys listen to the Trendsetter album? Did you think it was good? Me personally, I don't like Coyle Ray's music, so I wasn't going out of my way to check it. I've listened to a few of her songs. I don't hate her, but like I said, I'm not going out of my way to listen to it. I'm going to try and listen to it now that I'm seeing this. But yeah, man, I, I just feel really bad for Coyle Ray because, you know, there's certain female artists that I do like and she just happens to not be one of them. But I wish her the best. I hope maybe she can figure out what to do next. But I had to report selling 9K the first week is some of the lowest sales I've seen. You know, we have like Space Ghost Perp and all them other losers, but they ain't someone that's being pushed like Coyle Ray is and having all these features and promotions that Coyle Ray did and only sell that. It's just a big L. So yeah, you guys let me know. Do you think Coyle Ray is gonna rethink her career? Do you think this flop is going to make her label not push her as much? Do you think she might potentially just get dropped off this alone? Is she gonna give another chance? If you listen to the album, was it really this bad? Do you think it deserved a little more love? Or it is what it is. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, but as you know, if Chris Caden's show, I'm gonna give you guys hip hop updates whenever they're there. That's why you make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell for all my videos so you can like and participate in the comment section. This Chris Caden show, I'm out this motherfucker.